Jake Stevens, ball in the air, and we're underway. PMI wins the tip, dressed in white. Keenets are 3-0 in their white uniforms this year. Tang makes the cut, turnaround shot, falls off for the rebound by Plants. Defenders basketball with chest on the right side. Into the corner, McCray holds the ball. Keenets, 2-3 zone. Kick out right side, shot clock at three. Fall away shot and grazes the front end of the iron for Hammond. Now VMI with the rebound, toss back. Stevens a three, clanks off the back iron. Offensive board by Conway. The putback doesn't go. Clark Summit with the rebound, looking for our first score. Keenets looking to shoot the ball better. They uh, got into a little bit of a funk down in New Orleans. Shot 39% one game, just around 40% for another, and they would really like to bust out tonight. Hook shot, McCray. Falls off, and here's Hunter Huff for the Keenets. Hunter Huff, freshman. Stevens, power move, up and in. Somebody had to get the lid off the basket, and a nice inside game there going down low to Jake Stevens. Jake Stevens opens up the scoring, 2 nothing VMI. Stevens is the second leading scorer for the Keenets. 13.7 points coming in. McCray, graduate student out of Waldorf, Maryland. Now on the ball, it's Hammond. Into the lane, a trip. Looked like caught somebody's leg on his way in the lane. And Lewis Tang will be called for the foul. And a look at Brian DeShane. Clark Summit coach. They brought 19 players here tonight. Well, they've got plenty of bench strength. <laughs> Official scorebook is going to get a workout. Oh, it's going to get a workout tonight. 2 0 BMI just underway. Forcing it up, chest. Tank fights for the rebound. Defenders come up with it. Hook shot off for Hunter Plants. Now here's VMI on the run. Kerfman, pitch back, Conway. Deflected off of, I believe, a Clark Summit player. That was Kelvin Chest. And Tanner Manns is coming in. Manns has been both a starter and a reserve tonight coming off the bench. Lewis Tang heads out. They want to be careful with Lewis Grafton because uh, they're watching his stamina. Have to pick and choose the times and monitoring him all the way, but coming back from that knee injury that sidelined him a year. You're absolutely right. And just he's got to play his way into to game shape. Even though he's been practicing a little bit, it's still not like game conditioning. Conway misses the three, and then Mans tries a three, and then ball stripped on the way up. BMI will play it out. With a fresh shot clock, 2 nothing. Only basket, Steven, thus far, three minutes into the game. And a foul called by Bill Humes. This will go against Clark Summit. Hunter Plants, sophomore, picks up the foul. Hunter Plants now heads to the bench. Stevens holds the ball as play resumes. Sets a screen for Kerfman. Looks for Huff. Mans had it knocked loose by Kaiden Cash. Loose ball, it will go to Clark Summit. Very active hands for the defenders yeah. on defense. Yes, one thing we're seeing out of Clark's summit 
is that they're not going to be afraid of EMI. They're trying to get up inside of them, make good body contact, bumping the cutters. And uh, I haven't seen some of the other non-D1 programs do that with VMI thus far. Clark Summit looking for its first road win of the year, 0-4. Three-point try, no good out of bounds. It will go over to VMI with 16 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Connor Arnold now in for VMI, the senior out of Knoxville. Looks to be a crowd favorite tonight from the core who yeah, he got a nice round of applause. Today. In a cheering section, has played in seven games, Connor Arnold, with two starts. He's going to fire, and right off the bench, ignites VMI to a 5 nothing lead. And he rewards his fans by saying, okay, guys, y'all welcome me onto the floor, and so I'm going to give you a three to start this thing out. Connor Arnold shooting 39% for three-point range this year. 5 nothing VMI, four minutes gone by. Chest off to Hammond. Right side, McCray to the free throw line. Half court saved by McCray, but can't beat. Keenet's also without the services of Trey Bonham, who's been out the last two games with an injury, and his return is indefinite. So Dan Earl has had to juggle the cards somewhat and had to do that on the fly in New Orleans. I tell you, basketball is such a long season, and so many things can happen. And that's why you have a bench. You have more than the five or six players. And like you say, you have to make adjustments throughout. Kerfman drops it off for Honor Huff at a three-pointer. Rattles out VMI, one of five in three-point tries. Still 5 nothing. Clark Summit looking for its first points of the game. Kedat's come away with it, a runaway layup attempt for Kerfman, and he converts. Candom Kerfman, his first basket, 7 0 BMI. Right corner, Hammond against Conway. Chest swings it left side in the corner. Jab step, Hammond. Deep three, no good for Chest. Out of bounds, VMI basketball. Could have had a foul here too, we did. Kaiden Cash picks up the foul. And substitutions for both teams. There you see Hunter Plants back in. Sophomore out of Clark Summit. Seven nothing VMI. Huff now on the ball. Lewis Tang is checked back in. Arnold swings it left side to Watkins. Skip pass left to right. Huff works it against McCray. Takes the shot. And all over the rebound is Cash. Here's McCray for Clark Summit. Cash. Tang rejects the... Reverse layup by Plants. And it brings it the other way in the lane for Stevens, who converts a three. A little bit better ball movement that time by Vim. I got a little bit of a penetrating dribble and a kick back to the top just to get him into some offensive rhythm and flow. 10-0 VMI before that basket, a driving layup by Ashton West, the second leading scorer. So Clark Summit on the board for the first time, 13-44 mark. Eight-point key dead lead. Hawkins back to Arnold. Huff spins, packs it away from traffic. And then Stevens gets too much body from Ashton West. West the sophomore from Fontana, California with the foul as Tanner Mance will come back in for Connor Arnold. Clark Summit's got a, a variety of a roster here in terms of where their players are from. They've got them from all over the map. And we see California, Louisiana, New Jersey. Have a player from Scotland, an international player from Ecuador. Yeah. The Bahamas? Yeah. Yeah. Titan Cash is from the Bahamas as Watkins takes the three. 
Misses. Tank fights for the rebound. Can't save it. 10-2 VMI. As he'll put up pressure in the backcourt. And Honor Huff, I think, is going to be called for the reach. They'll give it to Watkins, who is also there to try to knock the ball loose. Second team foul on the Kitas. First on Watkins. West across the timeline. Now ready to operate. Mustafa inside the line. 14-footer, no good. Kedetz on the rebound. Huff back to Stevens. Passes up the three. Slips it to Tang, who had a shot, and then it was blocked, but he was fouled. West picks up the foul. That's his second. We'll see if he heads to the bench here with 12.50 remaining. Lewis Tang at the line. Tang, as we said, making his first start of the season. Free throw is good for Tang. That's his first made free throw of the year. It was all of one coming in. Lewis Rowe. Freshman from Australia. He's played in all seven games. Sees his first action tonight. Tang, free throw good. Key that's come in, 78% in free throw shooting as a team. And Clark Summit turns it over as they work at front court. It's a 10-point VMI lead, 12-2. Yeah, VMI's just trying to figure out a way to get a little bit more of the fluid motion going defensively as well as offensively, and they're just trying to get the juices going try to get, get get a little rhythm and extend their defense and also get their offense a little bit more pumped up. Himai weaves it on the perimeter. High post catch by Rowe. Looking for a cutter. Now sets a screen for Honor Huff. Rowe on the other side sets a screen for Manns who shoots in a three. Tanner Manns his first basket. And the Keenets have opened up a 15-2 lead over Clark Summit. Player control foul against the defenders. Ball goes back over to VMI. Cash picks up the foul. VMI with Watkins. Freshman to another freshman row. Back to Watkins. Squares up for the three and knocks it in. And now VMI is starting to find its shooting rhythm from beyond the arc. And once they get that offensive go on, offensive uh, opportunities going there and get points on the board, they'll pick it up defensively as well. 18-2 VMI. Clark Summit has just not had a whole lot of good looks at the basket as Manns is called for the reach around Plants. That will be the third team foul. It's no good in the rebound by Clark Summit. Somebody got lost defensively there by VMI and left them wide open right under the basket. Basket by Clark Summit. Cisco, runner good, just... Around the free throw line. 20 to 4 VMI. VMI stays 2 3 zone as Hammond plays it to Mustafa. Shot just rolls off. Roll for the Keenets on the rebound. Now Cisco playing in his first game in a couple of weeks. Kerfman, step back three. Top of the key, rattles out. VMI now four of 12 and three-pointers. Three-pointer left side, rattles out for Mustafa. Here's Watkins, left side, Cisco, open look, a three. No good. Mann's out of nowhere with the rebound, kicks it for a three-point try by Kerfman, who takes advantage, and Kerfman. 
Cam McKerpin finally got to number six. Got to number against six. Against Central Arkansas on Thanksgiving Day. Must have been the turkey he it, ate. It must have been the turkey. It had the opposite effect for him. McCray with a jumper. Knocks it down, just right of the lane, is 23 to six. Kerfman now front court. Back to Hammond. Watkins, Cisco. And a driving layup for Cooper Cisco, the 6'5 freshman from Frisco. Hammond. And then thrown over the top is McCray. Nobody there. And a turnover by Clark Summit. That is their fifth turnover of the game. Vincenzo Vaccarello in the lineup now for Clark Summit. Keenes Lee 25-6 as we are past the midway point of the first half. Kerfman to Cisco, and now Cisco around the Lewis Rose screen and his call for the, the moving pick. Rowe with his first, that's the fourth team fouls. Jake Stevens will head back in. Jake Stevens with five points in a little over seven minutes of action here in the first half. We've got 8.57 to go, clock running. And the key that's in command, 25-6. Chest in for Clark Summit. Running the baseline. Catch West. Driving shot. Good. Ashton West, the sophomore. 25-8. West coming off the bench. He's got six. That's a nice little running floater coming across the baseline. Deep three. Candom Kerfman. No good. Running chest. Front court. Stop and pop. In and out. Kerfman the rebound. Candom Kerfman in the front court. Kedet's leading scorer drops it off for Stevens, the second leading scorer. Mans catch and shoot off the mark for three point range. Crossover dribble, driving it in. Nice feed and the finish. Look at uh, McCray with the penetration and Garrett Plants. Converts 25 10. Add that to the Clark Summit highlight reel. Manns. Uncontested left hand layup for Tanner Manns. He's got five. Nice penetrating dribble. Again, Clark Summit is going to have to continue to do what they are doing, and that's moving that VMI defense and penetrate drive, penetrate dunk, penetrate kick, and they'll have some success. BMI by 17. D3 left side. Off the mark for West. It will stay. Clark's 27-10 VMI. Three-pointer off the inbounds. No good for Kelvin Chest as VMI with the rebound. Kedas with a 15-11 advantage on the boards. Just over seven minutes to go first half. Kerfman from Stevens. A little bit short on the three and the rebound by Chest. Six different key dets have scored here tonight. And a driving layup is good by Ashton West. West with six. The scoreboard in this arena says eight. I'm going to go with what our sheet says. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's the leading scorer, we'll tell you that. DJ Nussbaum, Kerfman. Well, Euro step in traffic and draws the foul as the layup no good. We're going to have free throws coming up. BMI has been to the line twice tonight. Cam Kerfman at the free throw line as the foul went against Garrett Plants, his first. Cam Kerfman has really stepped up the scoring this year. 18.4 points. Excellent free throw shooter. As I said that, he uh, missed on his first try. Only his second miss of the year, 11 of 12 coming in. One of two for Kerfman from the line in his 
BMI with just over six minutes left to go first half. Catch and shoot, three. Rattles out for West. Defenders are 0 of 5 in three-point tries, so they go inside and West the driving layup. And he is fouled, so he'll shoot the first free throws for Clark Summit. The clock stopped with just over six minutes remaining in the first half. And the free throw is no good. Clark Summit, 62% free throw shooter coming in. Ashton West has had his troubles this year from the line, only 58%. He missed them both. Tough, tough night there thus far for Mr. West from the line. Keenets by 16 as they bring it front court. Under six to play first half. Nussbaum back to Stevens. Honor Huff, freshman guard back in. Rolls it back to Jake Stevens, short on the three. West the rebound. Backs it out. Huff on him defensively, and now the half court set by Clark Summit. From up top, and there's the first three for Kelvin Chest. And the first three for Clark Summit. 28-15, 13-point BMI lead. Up back to Nussbaum. Entry pass, Stevens trying to go for Huff, and it hits the uh, bottom of the rim on the cross-court pass. Clark Summit take away the basket. Kelvin Chess runs over Candom Kerfman, and Chess will pick up the foul. That's a, t that's a tough way to pick up a foul, but that's, uh, that's what you do when you stand in there and you take that charge. He's, uh, he didn't like it too much. He's, he may have been moving slightly, but again, the official didn't see it that way. 28-15 as VMI gets it back. Kerfman taking the charge. Under five minutes to go. Huff bounces right side. Sean Conway back in. Conway picks up the dribble for Stevens, angles it left. Kerfman around a screen and away from the ball. We're going to call a hold on uh, Kelvin Chest, his second. He picks up two quick fouls as he was trying to hold up Jake Stevens coming across the lane. So now VMI will head to the free throw line for a one and one opportunity. And that's a, that's a tough assignment there by Mr. Chess, trying to body up and bump the cutter. And that cutter just happened to be Jake Stevens. And that's a, that's a mighty task there to, to handle big 6'11", Jake. Jake Stevens, second team all SoCon in 2021. Named to the preseason team, as you look at the graphic there. Second on the team in rebounding. 7.0 rebounds per game as the free throw is good for Jake Stevens. Excellent free throw shooter, 88% coming in. Stevens hits his first try, will get the bonus and hits. Now VMI's doubled the score, 30 to 15. Kedetz will pressure the basketball. Right side west. Back top of the key to McCray. Deep three, catch and shoot, no good for Coleman. VMI out of the pack with a basketball. Sean Conway, Jr. drives into the lane. Off to Tanner Manns, back to Conway. Kerfman, Stevens. And the jump hook, right hand. A lot of battling going on down inside. Uh, you got to give uh, Clark Summit credit. They're a pesky ball club, and VMI's trying to figure out a way to, to shake them a little bit and extend their lead. And one thing that they could do would be get some of those missed shots, and uh, that would add not only to offensive rebound. VMI with the lead. Clark Summit basketball. West has been active. He'll go to the free throw line as Huff fouls him. Foul against number three, Honor Huff, his second. 
Ashton West has played in eight of nine games. Tonight, a good scoring night. West was six. But he gets his first free throw in three attempts. All right, practice makes perfect. 32-16. West will get one more. And it's good. Now 32-17, Kedets up to Conway. Stevens, he'll take the three, top of the key, he's short. Jake trying to find his rhythm in one of four in three-point shooting and on the rebound, a loose ball foul against the Kedets. Yeah, when those shots aren't dropping, you look for other ways to score, maybe a shot fake, pass fake, hard dribble drive, stop and pop. Eighth team foul on the Kedats. Now Ashton West back at the line. Misses the front end of the one and one, and Stevens gobbles up the rebound. That was a, little, a very risky pass that Jake did on that back to the guard. Huff heads baseline, runs into Cash. Man's head fake, and he got Coleman to crawl over his back and pick up the foul. That's the old basic basketball move. Nice bounce pass by Jake Stevens and a nice jump stop as we're going to see on the replay. He stopped, a little jump stop, head fake, and there goes Mr. Coleman right over his back. Glad that Coleman, yeah. Isaiah Coleman, yeah. did not get hurt. Yeah, that uh, could be a scary situation, but he is okay. 32-17, and now Manns adds to VMI's lead. Kedatsu now six of seven in free throws. Seven points now for Manns as he converts the two free throws. Defenders back to work. VMI 34. Clark Summit 17. Mustafa, left side, into the corner, West, West underneath, trying to scoop it up, and a blocking foul on Tanner Bands. Clark Summit has been very aggressive with the dribble penetration. They are not afraid to take it to the rim as Lewis Rowe comes in for the Kedats. No, they're, they're not a very big team, and they're not a very yeah. good shooting perimeter team, and their strength is... Like you said, Wade, is driving it, penetrating, those nice easy handoffs, taking it to the basket. Arnold is back in for the Kedads. Connor Arnold, a three-pointer, three minutes of action so far tonight. Ashton West back at the free throw line, and it's good. Two and a half minutes left to go first half. Got the roll. It's 15 point VMI lead, 34 19, following the two free throws by Ashton West. West now on defense, all over Kerfman. Dribbles into a double team and throws it away. West, very active there, has got the basketball now the other way. West back to Mustafa, and he traveled with the basketball. Turnover by Clark Summit. Garrett Plants comes in, the 6'3 senior from Clark Summit. Brennan Watkins back in the lineup for the Kedets. Has the ball around a row screen. Kerfman from the left side, and the three is good for Candom Kerfman. His second three ball. 37-19. Kedats come away with a basketball again. 
Kerfman now in double figures on the driving layup. Timeout taken by Clark Summit. With 1.39 to go, the Keydets with a quick scoring burst after Clark Summit cut it to 15. It's back to a 20 point lead now for the Keydets. And for VMI, that is their largest lead, 20 points. Well, Cam McKerfman, the VMI leading scorer. Deep range tonight on the three-point shot, as it's been the case all season long. And can also play the transition game as well, Grafton. And he does a nice job where hesitation, and he just explodes right by the player. And that's what you like to see as a coach, a guy that can change the pace, explode by, and he goes all the way and lays it right off the glass. That driving layup was something you did not see Cando Kerfman do much two years ago. In fact, 75% of his shots his freshman year were from three-point range, but he's added that, that drive, getting it to the rim, getting into the lane, the dribble penetration. And yes. Three-pointer right side for Gatewood, no good. 39-19, left side Arnold. Three is no good from the corner. Clark Summit the rebound. And now the defenders will set up the offense, bring it on the left side. McCray. Back to Gatewood, back to McCray. Shot clock now at 10. Minute to go, first half. VMI 39, Clark Summit 19. Off the dribble, tough shot. McCray in and out on the two point try. VMI the rebound, now front court. 45 seconds to go. Here's Arnold left side. Kerfman looking for Watkins and throws it to the bench. Turnover by the Kedets. They're fourth of the first half. Uh, just a little too tall with the pass there. Watkins will pressure the basketball as McCray brings it in the lane. Tough shot for McCray, no good. He wanted the foul, no whistle. VMI the rebound. Watkins now front court. 25 seconds left. Rowe, hands back to Conway. Back to Rowe, three-pointer short for the lefty. 12 seconds left as Clark Summit with the rebound. Three seconds left, deep three, in and out for McCray, and that is the end of the first half. In the Cameron Hall. McCray starts it off, second half. 39-19, Kedats by 20. Vaccarello, who started but didn't play much in the first half, is... Going to draw the foul from Jake Stevens. Stevens picks up his second foul. Nice move, but no finish for Hunter Plants as VMI with a rebound. Brennan Watkins crossed the timeline. Circles it back to Stevens. Conway around the Stevens screen is short on the three. Well, Akita had six of 23 beyond the arc. McCray against Watkins. Chest. Arching jumper, good. Vaccarello, sophomore from Clayton, North Carolina. And Vaccarello, his first basket. He set that up. It was almost slow motion. Sam Wolf has checked in for the Kedet, seeing his first action. Conway gets the loose ball, brings it left side for Kerfman. One dribble, and the three is on the way. Three. Nothing but net. Candom Kerfman. Uh, Kerfman didn't get a clean catch off that touch and put it on the deck to get a little bit better balance and then went on up with it. 
Kerfman has got 14 to lead VMI in scoring as the Keydats open up a 42-21 lead. Chest. He had his foot on the line. Had that gone, I think that would have been a two. But shot is no good. Keydats with a rebound. Kerfman behind the line. Another three. This one's short. Defenders the other way. Driving layup. No good for McRae. Wolf couldn't lock up on the rebound. Swatted away by Vaccarello. And then he gives it up for Watkins. Pushes it front court. Conway, the three, good. Well, Sean Conway came right back to ram in his first three, and that's his first basket. Uh, VMI's extremely good weight in transition when they get some rhythm and get rocking into their shots. And it gives them an opportunity to, to establish and get a little bit better balance. McRae, top of the key, off the plants. Hammond draws the foul. And Sam Wolf will pick up the foul. Sam Wolf played in a couple of the games last week in New Orleans, the UNO Classic. And Lewis Tang, who started the first half, now seeing his first action of the second half. 45 21 VMI. And they are calling this one tightly. Foul on Sean Conway. Second on Conway. Keenets have picked up three quick fouls. Two and a half minutes into the half. From the corner, chest, no good. Kerfu now drops it back. Conway, catch and shoot three, short, follows his shot. Toss back Watkins, who will gun the three. And that is short as well. McRae taken away by Watkins, who will lead the break. Watkins back to Conway. Tang, entry pass, Stevens sets and hits and a foul. I think Vaccarello's going to pick up the foul as Jake Stevens now in double figures. We take another look. Nice dump pass down inside to Jake Stevens. A little head, body fake, and he goes up strong, gets fouled from behind. Well, VMI stand with his offensive game plan, but they're coming away with too many one and duns. Stevens finishes off the three point play as the Keydats. Stretch out their lead to 48-21. And Watkins is called for the bump. That's a fourth team foul. Second foul on Brennan Watkins. Ball inbounded to Donovan McRae. Chest against Kerfman. Hammond. McRae looking to create. Stops at the free throw line. Dumped down to Platts. Vaccarello with five to go on the shot clock. High off the window. Oh, he hit a prayer and drew the foul. Back. What a shot for Vincenzo Vaccarello, the sophomore. Uh, and you can see the expression on his face, Wade. He was kind of like, yeah, look at me go to work here. and Look at that just drop in. I think he was a bit surprised himself. Played the window nicely as 48-23. <laughs> Vaccarello with four. And now well, he's got an arc on that free throw. He has a high arcing shot. That's his natural rhythm now. I thought the first couple were just sort of by, yep. by accident, but no, that's his shooting formation. So And hey. it works. He's got five points hey. as he heads to the bench. Actually, he stays in. I applaud him. I give him credit. Good job, young man. 48-24, Kedats. Tang. 
Chang going back door. Nice cut by Manns to the basket as he finishes with a right hand layup. 50 to 24. Tanner Manns with nine. VMI has so many different ways to score, Wade, but they haven't shown them all tonight. They've relied so heavily on that perimeter shot, but they can do so many other things and do it quite well when they're in, when they're in a good offensive flow. Three-point try, no good for Kelvin Chess, the junior from New Orleans. Tang for the key. That's to Stevens. Kerfman back to Stevens and drops it in, right hand. A little bit of a baby hook. Jake Stevens now with 14 points, tied with Kerfman for the most points by Akita tonight. Chest looking for separation and then goes to Tang, right side. Hammond looks for Vaccarello. It's out of bounds and we have our first time. Chest now with five points. 52-26 VMI, Honor Huff, tough shot, off balance. Now McCray the other way and had it stripped by Huff. Three on one and threw it right to Keith Hammond. Uh, he gave it up to the wrong player who was helping lead the break, but unfortunately he was on the defensive side of the ledger. Inside it goes. Platt's left-handed hook, got it. Whoa, tough shot. Hunter Platt's got that over Jake Stevens. Plants his first basket, well earned. Man sees the trap. Back to Honor Huff. Kerfman. Back door to perfection on the bounce feed from Stevens. Nice timed play on that back door run and delivered the ball nicely. Kerfman now with 16. Honor Huff called for the foul. And Honor Huff has picked up his third. Vaccarello to the bench. Another look at the back door. Yeah, Jake Stevens did that little hard dribble. And that's a time play. That's actually a precision play. You dribble hard at your offensive teammate. He sets the guy up and then explodes back door. Ball comes loose in the front court. Scooped up by West. 14-footer short for McCray. Mans the rebound. Another backdoor look. Huff couldn't catch, but then finds Tang. Quick layup, no good. Tang the rebound and scores. Lewis Tang did a nice job following the miss. Hard dribble right down between his legs and then straight back up on the glass. Nice power move. First basket for Lewis Tang. Deflected off Manns, tied up. Via my ball on the arrow. And more substitutions for the Cadets as Brennan Watkins, Lewis Rowe come in. Kerfman will head out along with Jake Stevens. Kerfman with 16, Stevens with 14. Connor Arnold also in for the Cadets. Arnold with three points in the first half. Last day of November. This is the third home game for VMI. Only one more before the holiday break, and that's December 11th. 40th anniversary celebration of Cameron Hall. Arnold, the three-pointer left side. Rowe the rebound, and he stepped on the baseline. The actual 40th anniversary of Cameron Hall is, is December 5th. That will be Sunday, but the Keydets will be in a much different time zone then. They'll be playing that day, but yes. at Seattle. Yes, in a fact, little, little different time zone. I mean, you, you look at the, the this past Friday to next Friday as Manns pushes up the three, row the rebound. But in a week's time, as Watkins goes to Manns, Watkins three-pointer, good from the right side, Brennan Watkins. 
But from Friday to Friday, Grabbed and VMI will play in three different time zones. Exactly. And do you Such think, Wade, that there will be any weather changes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> there definitely will be. Yes. Basket by Clark Summit. 59-30. Yeah, that's a uh, great way to pick up some frequent flyer miles as well. Uh, the bank, that is. Second one is short. 60 to 30. Keenets have doubled the score. Watkins deflected it, but scooped up by Ashton West. West into the corner. And an open three for Coleman, and he misses. Block is now front court. Arnold to Rowe. Cut to the basket. Huff Arnold. off the feed from Lewis Rowe. Who had those nine assists in the first game. Gets yeah. an assist here. First basket for Huff. West short on the three from the right side. Rowe. Chases down the loose ball. Rowe will head baseline. Spins, left hand shot, a little bit off. Hunter Plants controls the rebound for Clark Summit. Defenders ball. Kedes leads 62 30. Ten and a half to play. Coleman triggers the rebound, won by Connor Arnold. Watkins now is bumped on the loose ball. Latif Mustafa, sophomore from Fayetteville, picking up the foul. DJ Nussbaum, sophomore from Houston, Texas in. Sean Conway back in for the Keydets as well. Tanner Mans will head out. BMI's struggling just a little bit, but it's not because of lack of effort. It's just that they they hit a couple of nice runs where they ran right into their offense and everybody got into the flow with the motion and the backdoor cuts. And then they sort of had to stop and go, stop and start. And uh, they're much better when they can flow and, and keep it moving. Ness Palm sets the screen for Huff, who drives to the basket, and it's blocked, but then Arnold takes that rejection from Kaiden Cash and lays it in. Arnold with five. We are past the midway point, half number two, Cameron Hall. Coleman throws it right to uh, Sean Conway. Arnold will try the three. Rattles out. Rebound by Darius Levingston. And there's West with the taking it hard to the rim and draws the foul. Watkins the foul, number three. might trying to go 3-0 and at home. Free throw is good for West. Ashton West, second on the team in scoring. 10.5 points heading into the game. And he's over that. Well, they're, they're continuing to scrap and play hard. We're just a bit outmatched here by VMI tonight. Huff top of the key. Three-pointer for Otter Huff. And the Keenets back in double digits. 
three-pointers. They've hit 10 or more in all but one game this year. Now the seventh time BMI's hit 10 or more threes in a game this season. Off the window, too strong to the floor is Coleman. Slow getting up. BMI will run front court, leading 67-32. Huff around a Nussbaum screen. He's hit two in a row. He's, he's found his rhythm there. A nice stroke two times in a row there for Mr. Huff. Honor Huff. Freshman out of Brooklyn. If that is on West, that's number four. No, it will not. DJ Nussbaum called for the read. Three. Corner three, Sean Conway. Conway. Now with six points. 73-32, BMI it's 12th three of the game. Tang will defend West. West almost got it to go. Watkins races front court. Looks back. Toss to Tang. Heads to the basket and scores. Good court awareness by Watkins seeing the trailing Lewis Tang. Absolutely, and Lewis had another option in that far corner had he not taken the, the layup himself. You can see the lights going on for Lewis Tang and just getting back to that, just that game speed. Court vision, two-pointer, good for Kelvin Chest. Yes, he, he's definitely a, a, a headsy player, understands the game quite well, and uh, like you say, Wade, he's getting back in game shape to game speed, and he'll continue to do that as the season progresses. Watkins stripped by Vaccarello. They will not allow substitutions here. Did they call a foul? No, now they allow the players to come in. Inbound, catch and shoot, three-pointer for Cisco, and he's knocked to the floor. He will have three free throws coming up. That was not a fancy inbounds play. It's just basically a 1-4 flat, and nobody covered the guy on the weak side. Cotton Cash with the foul. That is his first. Cisco free throw short. Cooper Cisco, 6'5, 185 freshman. Seeing his first action since November 16th. And the free throw is good. Mance comes back in. Cisco gets another, and now VMI with a 77 34 lead. Six and a half to go. Cisco saving the ball in the backcourt, and the key does come up with it. Cisco became a for a brief moment, a part of the Clark Summit bench. He certainly, uh, he certainly tried did. to fight for it. Nussbaum, nice move. Left hand off the window. Nice use of his body to spin off the defensive player and lay it right off the glass with the left hand. Cash in the corner. Back to Gatewood. Chest, plants, gets the double team, threw it off the side of the backboard. Manns gets the carom into the front court for Cisco. Off of Nussbaum's fingertips. Race to the rim. Chest wins it because Tanner Manns is going to be called for goal tending. Yes. But you have to applaud the effort of the defense in transition to not just give him a wide open layup. They, they chased him down and tried to make something happen, but as we see here on the replay, and Tanner Mann goes up and blocks it against the glass and made contact with the backboard as well. 
Clark Summit, pressure in the backcourt, not backing down. 5.30 to go, there's a reach around foul on Josiah Gatewood, the sophomore from Montgomery, Alabama. Good preventative officiating there by Mr. Hume. Tell him I'm going to give you a line. Don't reach across it. Man's left side. Huff. Three-pointer won't count. Looking at the Clark Summit roster, you mentioned they're, they're from all over. I, I count 13 different states and three other countries and that my and, friend I think everybody has played too yeah is an education in and of itself if you're on that roster and you're a teammate because you can learn so much about each other mm -hmm. and about some cultural awareness and yeah. break down some some walls and barriers so no, no question I, I, I love that I love that that's good stuff chest left side McCray Three-pointer off the mark, but uh, quick hands and the putback by Garrett Plants. He'll head to the free throw line. This game never really in question, but you got to applaud the way Clark Summit, the way they have tried to play their game. You know, Wade, one thing I would enjoy if I were on that roster when my teammates get care packages from home, I would be in their room or apartment or whatever the living situation is, say, okay, what did mom or auntie or granny, what did they send us this time? <laughs> Who's got the care package? Exactly. Who's got the care package? I would be at the post yeah. office helping yeah. my teammates. Tag the rebound. VMI with it. Front court, 79-37. 4.40 to go. Huff into the lane. Looks for Tang underneath the basket. Mans. Cisco ball flying around the perimeter. Now Wolf, the jumper, good. Great ball movement by the Kedats on that possession. And when we see them do that, Wade, usually good things happen for VMI. Off balance three for Kelvin Chest. Rebound by Cisco. Four minute mark approaching. 81 37 VMI. Hunter Huff pulls up, takes the three, rattles out. Off the fingertips of, well, I thought Tang, but a Clark Summit player. Last to touch it. One is Kiradu. Sophomore from Florida. Inbound off to Wolf. Lays it up, scores. Sam Wolf. Couple of baskets for Sam. Yes. Old Sam, when he gets in that game, he brings a lot of energy to the floor. I'm by Otter Huff. Ralph Sampson did not play in that game. He was on the team, but he did not play. As Huff with a three-pointer top of the key, no good. Rebound by Wolf, knocked away. Mans now with it. Back to Wolf. Cisco. Right side to Mans. Now front court. Plants layup. A blocking foul on VMI. Count the basket. And that's a tough place to try to draw because you're below the restricted arc trying to take that charge. You just got the right foot inside the restricted arc, Mr. Mr. Wolf. Hunter Plants. Tonight with six points. Free throw by Mance. 
Clark Summit just 8 of 15 in free throws tonight. Wolf hands it back to Honor Huff. Tang lays it up right hand and then hits the floor. He does expecting big things from Lewis Tang this year. You just see the energy he brings. And with, with each move, he gets better and better. But every time he hits that floor, if you're a coach, you, you cringe. You, you wonder, okay, get up, son. Get up, please. <laughs> If you mind now, 11 of 15 in free throws. Tang will get one more after missing the first. There's a look heading to the bench of Joshua Gatewood, the sophomore from Montgomery, Alabama. Second one good by Lewis Tang. Lewis with seven points tonight for the Kedets. Alex Moore has checked in, freshman out of Burlington, New Jersey. I think everyone now who has made this trip has appeared in the game for Clark Summit. Quick shot by Ross Adams. Kedet's rebound, 2.17 remaining. Tang. Well, he's had some nice drives in the second half, Grafton. He really has a nice, strong dribble drive move from the right side to the left and used his left hand to lay it off the glass. He just exploded by two defenders. Alex Moore. That was a bullet pass yep. to the support system. Basket support system. Clark Summit, now with 16 turnovers. 139 left. Cisco pushes it up and scores. Eight points for Cooper Cisco. Hammond. Is Kiradu. Back to Hammond. Look away pass. And through the fingertips of Ross Adams. Man's back to Huff, 88 40, with a minute to go here at Cameron Hall. The Keydets well on their way to another home victory. Foul. VMI will head to the airport tomorrow, fly across the country, and take on Portland in their next game. And we wish them, yeah. and uh, you're traveling as well, yeah. my understanding, and we wish right. you and the, the club and all the other support staff way to a safe and blessed trip out there and have a little fun. Take a rain bonnet with you just in case. And come home safely as well, and come home with some... Some, some dubs. Both the Portland and Seattle games will be on ESPN Plus. Friday night's game at Portland, University of Portland that is. 10 p.m. start. Forcing me to stay up a little later on a Friday night. <laughs> oh, I, I think you would have been up. <laughs> I'll be up. Left hitter by Moore, no good. 12.6 seconds left. Twelve point six seconds left as we play this one out. Dan Earl. Gotta be pleased with things he has seen tonight from his team. As we 
play out the final seconds of this one. Honor Huff across the timeline. And that's going to do it. 88.